I'm winning the Impact World Championship at Slammiversary. Slammiversary, Saturday, July 15th on pay-per-view. This is Eric Young's fourth Slammiversary main event of any Impact wrestler on the active roster. No one has won more titles than Eric Young. No one has wrestled in more matches than Eric Young. But what might be the deciding factor tonight is who is accompanying Young to the ring, Diener and Joe Doran. Violent by Design is the family Eric Young is created in his own image. A family he's created to feel at home in a world that he feels has rejected him and his kind. And he hopes to culminate that journey with championship gold at this historic event. Josh Alexander is undefeated at Slammiversary, retaining championships, especially all three times the last three consecutive years. But you can see Josh Alexander as he makes his way to the ring, how much he thinks of the history of Impact Wrestling. On his knee pads, tributes to Samoa Joe and AJ Styles, and his singlet is inspired by Kurt Angle's time in the main event mafia. All incredible wrestlers who have formed the very foundation of what Impact Wrestling is today, a foundation that Josh Alexander hopes to take into the future. Here's your Slammiversary main event of the evening. It is for the Impact World Championship. Scheduled for one fall when the bell rings, the referee will be Brian Hebner. Introducing first to my left, he is accompanied by and represents, violent by design, the challenger, Eric Young. His opponent in the corner to my right from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. He is the defending Impact World Champion, the walking weapon, Josh Alexander. At ringside, Josh Alexander's wife, Jade, and their young son, Jack. They were there in attendance at Rebellion back in April, the night that Josh Alexander's mission came to an end and captured the Impact World title from Moose. They are back here at ringside tonight for Slammiversary, but considering what we saw Eric Young do this past Thursday night on Access TV, the pile driver on Josh Alexander to the exposed wood, the bloody mess that Alexander was left in, could this be a brutal night for the Alexander family? It absolutely could. Eric Young calls his group violent by design for a reason, and he showed us exactly what that reason was this past week on Access TV. And I have no doubt the lengths he'll go to here tonight to bring that title home. The early struggle here, Eric Young. This is his eighth ever matchup here at Slammiversary. He has run the gamut in this company from Team Canada to Don't Fire Eric to World Elite, defending TNA, becoming Impact World Champion, and now Violent by Design. His journey has been fascinating. But it, he doesn't care about the history, frankly, frankly, Ray. Well, he cares about winning the Impact World title tonight. He doesn't look into the past. He doesn't look behind him. He only looks one direction. That's forward into the future he hopes to create, the future he hopes to found on his own, not on Impact Wrestling's terms, not on TNA's terms, on Eric Young and Violent by Design's terms. On the match, who do you give the advantage to in this match? I mean, we're talking pure catches, catch can wrestling. It's hard to make an argument against Josh Alexander. You talk about him making his singlet in the mirror image of Kurt Angles from his time here. 
And that is exactly the type of wrestler that we know Josh Alexander to be. Eric Young, his advantage comes from the chaos he creates in any ring he steps in, the psychological warfare he likes to play. And a special note regarding this match, if you can see on your screen, Brian Hebner officiating this main event matchup. Not only is it his final main event pay-per-view matchup, but the final matchup he will officiate in his storied career. So oh, thank Brian Hebner for all his contributions to Impact Wrestling. Brian and his whole family, important parts of the pro wrestling industry. We are so happy to have him here as this matchup picks up. Whoa! And down goes Young. And Alexander all over the leader of Violent by Design. And Eric Young showing us he can go when it comes to a pure wrestling style. But as this matchup goes on, I am telling you, the sick and sinister side of Eric Young is going to make itself known. Important fact regarding both of Josh Alexander's championship defenses against Moose and against Ishii, they're both longer than 23 minutes. Only one singles match in EY's impact career has gone that long. So you gotta think that edge could go to Alexander the longer this match goes on, but still the element of violent by design could be the X factor. No one is doubting Josh Alexander's oh. conditioning. In a both literal and metaphorical sense, he's the Iron Man of Impact Wrestling. The rolling senton. And now look at this. Oh! A little best moonsault ever there. A little tribute to Christopher Daniels. And now Whoa! Young went for one of his own. Neither competitor landing the moonsault, but already taking high risk here. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Yes. Mm -hmm. Forehead to forehead, Young and Alexander. They both had the same idea, meeting in the center of the ring. Neither one given an inch. Wow, oh, look at Alexander. Oh, feeling these heavy strikes from Young. Equilibrium maybe knocked off a little bit for the walking weapon. You get the right shot upside the ear, cut that is covered by oh, that oh. protective padding. But it can knock you for a loop. Lighten up the chest of Young. Now, right now, it's just two competitors testing each other's medal in the center of the ring. Oh, boy, boot right to their face. Oh, now look at these open palm strikes oh. by Alexander. Alexander all over Eric Young. And is this good for Alexander? That's the question. Is this is the side of Alexander that he's going to bring out as he looks down to his knee pad? A little tribute to Samoa Joe. The face wash here in the corner. I love it. Channeling the legends of Impact Ooh. Past is Josh Alexander. The Samoan submission machine will be proud. Crowd here in Nashville. Uh -oh. Firmly in the corner of Josh Alexander as EY lifts the champ up oh. and drops him down. That was very high on the shoulders. There's a cover to win the title and a kick out. Remember the surgically repaired neck of Josh Alexander. And let's not forget what Eric Young likes to close his matchups out with. That pile driver, just like he did this past week. Oh. Could the condition of Alexander's neck be worse than we might imagine? Only a few days removed from that assault. Oh, wait a minute, look at this. On the entranceway with a table, that is Diener. Violent by design has some designs of their own here for the Impact World Champion. And the table set up at ringside. And he got to believe Young wants to utilize it, but right now just trying to torture Josh Alexander with a top rope. He wants to drive the Impact World Champion through that table. One more step on his journey to crowning glory and stand atop all of Impact Wrestling. But now it's EY sent to the outside. Oh, now teetering. The table was set up by Diener. Oh, and Young, Young down to a knee. Desperately trying to hold on. As the walking weapon takes off. Oh. 
Young able to halt Alexander, now going to the top turnbuckle. Josh trying to meet him up top there. Perhaps trying to throw Eric Young off the top rope. EY holds on. Oh! Down goes Alexander. Oh! Drop! Coming up a new champion! Cover! Oh, kick out by Alexander. We've seen Eric Young put matches away with that as well. Trying to get this one done relatively early. Rolls out of the ring and looking underneath the ring. Oh no, he's not looking underneath the ring. He's trying to repeat a little bit of history. You see him unhooking oh, our right. canvas here. Heavy similar designs to what happened this past Thursday on Impact on Axis TV. Could be looking to cause some real pain to Josh Alexander. Young, Young once again trying to tear up the ring. Alexander trying to battle back. He gave just enough time for Josh Alexander to get back to his feet. An opportunity to fight back, but the minute that wood underneath gets exposed, it's dangerous territory for anybody involved. Oh! All the head belly to belly. Now Alexander taking the offense to Eric Young. Quickening up the pace a little bit as he throws a look to his wife and son. Oh, and it looked like Young was very confident going into that, and it's Alexander who turns it around. Powerbomb! Shoulders down to retain the title. Oh, no. Oh. Step over another shade to Samoa Joe there. Powerbomb flipped right over into the cramp. Oh, and Dina eats a right hand. And now a big man, Doring. Oh, Alexander knew this was going to happen. Knew he was going to have to deal with Doring, especially come Slammiversary. You had to believe that Josh Alexander came in knowing that very well. Crossbody to retain the title. Young able to kick out. He came in here with the game plan, ready to fight with eyes in the back of his head. That's the kind of champion Josh Alexander is. He breathes Impact Wrestling. He sweats Impact Wrestling. He bleeds Impact Wrestling. He'll fight an army if he has to, to stand atop it. Oh, hold on a second. Thinking about the C4 spike, perhaps. And now it's Young. Oh, strong. Shades of Jeff Jarrett. Cover. Kick out by Alexander. And he was in. You want to throw back into the annals of Impact Wrestling history, I can play that game too. Pull one of the Impact Hall of Famer's best shots out of his back pocket, but still, Alexander able to kick out. And this entire evening has been riddled with history, both history being made and history being relived as these two competitors walk through a storybook of the greatest hits of Impact Wrestling as they both try to stand atop the mountain. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Young was thinking about the, the pile driver once again. Now it's Alexander going for the C4 spike. Alexander goes to the oh. ankle, ankle lock. That's one of his other greatest hits. Closed out a lot of matches with that, but EY wiggles his way free. Face first into the middle turnbuckle goes Alexander. Alexander picking up the pace here. Oh, and, oh, black hole slam! I love this! And a kick out by Alexander! And you know the sordid history between Eric Young and Abyss as well. Young is thinking of everything he can possibly conjure to put away Alexander. The crowd here in the asylum letting us know this is wrestling. This is impact wrestling. Oh, Young 
Oh, oh, great right hand in the corner that he briefly dismantled. Thanks to the help of Joe Doring and Diener. And you have to imagine he has not forgotten about that. No, not the mind of Eric Young, the sinister, twisted mind of Eric Young. Oh. Oh, as he levels that right hand to the side of the head, into the jaw of the walking weapon. Will this world belong to Eric Young? Can he walk out of Slammiversary as the new Impact World Champion? He will do whatever it takes to get there. Oh, taken off his feet by Alexander. A little standing STO action there. Christopher Daniels been known to do that too, more and more. Wait. You mentioned Christopher Daniels. Oh, there it is. The best moonsault ever. Here's the cover and a kick out. Channeling the fallen angel, but it is still not enough to put away Eric Young. Look at this. Oh! Right to the face, I'd say, of Eric Young. And somehow, the leader of VBD is still in this. And once again, Alexander wanted the C4 spike. Whoa. Young trying to prevent it. He wants it desperately. He's not giving it up too easily. Oh! Straight down. Good B. Go kick out. And another trip into the history books is for Josh Alexander as he floats back into the ankle lock. Dead center of the ring, a bad place for the challenger right now. Cutting snap the ankle of Eric Young here at Slammiversary and retain his championship. And Josh Alexander, his frustration has been building. He wants to put this one away. He wants to end this one right now and walk into the future of this company as its champion. And Young trying to get to the bottom rope, but look at this great finding the leg. It's Alexander. Now, dropping all his weight into the middle of the ring. Eric Young is gonna have to crawl and carry the full body weight. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Alexander got Young to tap, but Brian Hedder didn't even see it because of Dieter. Dieter throwing that powder in the eyes of Brian Hedner. The official's blinded, and now Dieter. Dieter Whoa. gets involved, and he pays for it. Drawing up on the apron, catches a boot for his trouble. Yeah. Oh, and right to the back of Young, and Alexander knew this was going to happen. He knew he was going to have to deal with every last member of Violet by design. He wants this fight. And despite every trick in the book that they keep pulling out, Alexander is ready to answer. And now the monster oh, stopped by Alexander. And Alexander looking at that table. Oh, my God. Take a look, chance of Kurt Angle, the Hall of Famer, the Olympic slam through the table on the outside. And now, maybe now, as Jen and Jet look on, the threat of Violent by Design has dissipated at least enough for the champion to hold on. Oh, now look inside the ring. Dana with the VBD flagpole. He's ready to stand toe to toe, or flag to toe, should I say. Oh, no! <laughs> I guess Coach Delora left his uh, hockey stick and flag out here. The official is still blinded inside the ring. Oh! Flag for a flag.
They're on their feet here in the asylum in Nashville, Tennessee. Boom! The sickening thud of that guitar and that look of surprise in Eric Young's face is reflected in us all as we can't believe it either. And now, now he has his opportunity to tear this ring apart, expose the wooden beams underneath, and do the damage he really wants to do. And, and, and Brian Ebner is still struggling with his vision right now, trying to right himself, and, and obviously trying to get Eric Young to reconsider this. I don't know if that's gonna work. Good luck. There is no negotiating with the leader of Violent by Design. Oh God, no, 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 no. Going for the pile oh. driver on the exposed wood. Oh! Not again! Good God! Cover for the Impact World title! No! You have got to be kidding me. Take a look at this. The pile driver, the oh. exposed wood, the head of the champion crackling off that. Remember, Josh Alexander's career nearly ended due to a broken neck, a surgically propelled neck into the exposed wood. And now beaten, bloodied, dropped onto that neck. And Eric Young is not oh, done God, yet. No. Hell no, come on! Good God. Alexander oh. finds a way out and oh. out to the ankle. Back into the ankle lock, an ingenious counter there to Eric Young. And now the ankle lock one more time. Locked in in the center of the ring. Oh, and Young rattles his way out. The headgear's flying off. Oh, oh, oh. Alexander sits down Young. Strikes at the wound on his forehead, looking oh, to set it up. The C force spike. part of the past of this company but you sometimes got to kick down the door on your way to the future and the walking weapon has done just that take a look back here at the conclusion of this matchup eric young sat down by the uranagi shades of samoa joe it was channeling the 20 years of impact wrestling that fired up josh alexander and then with the exposed wood eric young paid for his own